your girl China coming at you guys with a quick review on a product. This is part of my August favorites and I have to say that I have finally found a drugstore foundation that definitely does what it says it does. This is called Clean Y'all by CoverGirl. It comes in this like kind of turquoise packaging. They have two of these. They have one in a brown packaging I guess for normal skin. This one is for oily skin. I have combination of oily skin. T-zone area just gets real oily y'all. So, went ahead and picked this up at my local Walmart. I've been having it, sitting in my makeup kit for a while. Decide to try it out. Let's get into the foundation. First off, this is an anti-luminous foundation, which means no luminosity. If you're looking for something dewy, this is not the one. This is more of a matte finish. It's called Clean for a reason. I can definitely say it gave me a clean, fresh face. I'm wearing it now. It just looks clean. It just looks fresh. just looks smooth. And it definitely has the right name to fit. One thing I can say that I do not like about this foundation, I did not like the packaging just because it's missing a pump. And I, um, you know, sometimes when you don't have a pump, you tend to use more products. So that I don't like. So on a scale 1 through 10, I would definitely have to rate this a 9 minus not having a pump. The color that I picked up is a 565 Tawny color. The color range is sucked. I would definitely mark it down also to a 9 because of that reason. Um, so this was the only one that kind of matched me. As you can see, it matches very well. It matches my face, matches my neck. So Tawny, if you're my shade or my complexion or whatever, definitely pick up the Tawny color. Um, it was about $9 if I forgot to say that. I don't know, but it was about 8 or $9. It may have been a little bit less. I'm not sure. But um, like I said, I picked it up in Walmart. So this is a dual foundation. That means that it actually comes with a powder also. And the powder, if I'm not mistaken, looks the same color as this. So if you guys want to go in and pick up the foundation and the powder, do so. I did not, but I definitely want to try it out. I didn't see it when I went there, and my mind wasn't on the pressed powder anyhow. It was actually just on a foundation. So that's why I did that, but I'm going to definitely go ahead and check out that pressed powder to see how it works together. I did use my MAC foundation on top of this foundation, but you do not have to use any powder over it unless you just want to. I just tend to feel more comfortable like that. So I went ahead and gave this foundation a tryout. I wear it, been wearing it for like about a week now. It is hot out here in California, of course, y'all. It is summer, so it held up through the heat. No oils had came through. I was blown away. I was definitely shocked. So I went ahead and wished with the extra mouth, and I slept in the foundation. Yes, I know it's bad. Blah blah blah. Anywho, when I woke up, y'all, no oils. So this foundation definitely is an oil control foundation. It definitely is a true statement, and CoverGirl actually did their thing. Awesome. Thumbs up to CoverGirl. Anywho, so enough of me rambling about this foundation. Hands down, go ahead and pick it up if you have oily skin. You're looking for something that um, controls those oils, y'all. Clean is definitely it. So, if you guys have any questions, be sure to comment below. I'll be sure to be answering any questions for you guys. No problem about this foundation. Um, the makeup look that I have on today, very, very neutral. Use my Sephora palette to get this look. So, I have some gray on my eyes. I've been using gray as of late. I don't know why I've been into a lot of cool tones. On my lips, I have chocolate, uh, Maybelline Super Stay Lip Gloss topped with the Coco Georgiana Eye print Pencil Lined with the eye pencil and they just topped it with the lip gloss in chocolate so y'all just in case y'all was curious about that that's what it is until next time y'all smooches last bye